Hi, welcome to Okra Hamster. For today's unboxing, I got the camera meter. It was a project on Kickstarter, and um, it's basically a wireless uh, te tethering device that allows you to tether your iPad to your digital camera, a digital SLR camera. Now, I currently do not own a digital SLR, but just that this project was just so innovative and uh, so affordable that I figure, you know what, I do want to come to uh, come to market, so I backed it. Uh, it cost me about $185. Um, here's what the image looks like when it is connected to a uh, a digital SLR camera. Now, uh, this is this was the older design. Um, this one is now more of the newer design, and these are the cameras it works with, like the uh, camera 5D Mark II, Mark III, the uh, Nikon D800, essentially just about all the digital SLRs. Okay, now when it was shipped to me today, when I received it today, it came in just a, uh, a USPS envelope and this plain box. No packaging. I mean, no graphics whatsoever. Well, let's just open it up. First we have a getting started guide. It's like very simple half sheet of paper. Let's see, uh, press the power button, connect to the camera's USB port, set the camera to JPEG or RAW mode plus JPEG. As you go to settings on your iPad, select camera meter from a list of Wi-Fi networks. Now, <clears throat> one of the things, reasons why I bought this is because this device can create its own ad hoc network. So if I'm out doing a, a photo shoot or shooting some videos in the future where I'm gonna test out with my RX100 later on, I essentially can uh, create my own ad hoc network and control my digital camera that's perhaps like mount, uh, mounted on a tripod or something um, from a distance using my iPhone or iPad. Man, this design looks a lot better than I expected. It's also a lot smaller than their, their first prototype. All right, let's start with the sides here. We got the power button right here. And I guess that's a AC, AC DC port. Let's see what cables they give us first, sorry. Okay, so here is the charging. USB cable to a charger. And what is this? A mini USB cable. All right. So power, and then the charger. This side nothing. This side is just a USB. So this USB port will be connected to the digital camera. Now uh, over here has the tripod or, or the um, the screws here. One thing I asked Usman for was a a twist, a little knob here. Uh, just so that the device won't fall off, something like that. I can just, like a screw, to, for, so that when it's mounted on something like this, for example, it can slide in and secure it, so that when I shake it or anything, I don't need to worry about it. And he assured me that it is not needed and it's, the device will not fall off. It's pretty. It's a very tight fit. I'm trying on on this this right angle device right now, hook and. Well, it's definitely in there. So, well, only time will tell if this thing remains uh, scratched already. Well, it's a, it's a plastic design. There is uh, two screws here. I don't see a reason of me ever needing to take it off. Now, since there's only one button on a camera meter, I just want to show you all the lights and uh, notifications that's, that comes with it. So now I'm just going to plug in the charging port and plug the other end to my USB port. And there, you see the uh, charging light comes on. So on this side is a charging light, on uh, this side is just the wireless Wi-Fi indicator. I'm going to turn up power, power the unit on.
It's taking a little while to boot up. Take off the sticker right here. Okay, it creates its own ad hoc network. So, I got my iPhone right here. And uh, let me try to find that ad hoc network. Hmm. Not sure why it's trying to say. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Camera Mater. Come on, connect. Hmm. I'm not sure why it's taking a while to connect. I know that they were trying to make this device simple, but with only one button as a power button, it makes it seem a little bit too simple. Like there's no configurations, no diagnostic. Let's see if this one connects. It's still spinning. Let me head to the uh, Camera Mater app that I downloaded on this iPad. On the iPad, there, there's a little more options for, for their app. On the iPhone, you only have remote camera and local folders, but on the iPad, you also have session view. But it does not seem that I'm, I'm able to connect to this uh, Karameter's ad hoc network, so nothing is showing up. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for watching this unboxing and semi setup video. Uh, the camera mater wireless data transmitter for a digital camera and any of your mobile devices android or iphone unfortunately i was not able to get this to work so i'll be contacting the creators of this product and i'll keep you posted on any developments that i make thanks for watching walker hamster bye